big crocodile outside the lake. You see where this bird is? Just on the left side of it, the crocodile. You see they are now close to the hippo. You see where the hippos yeah, are? Yeah, it's really close yeah, to really the hippo. Yeah. Well, that's another hippo coming up. We've just been on a magnificent boat trip and now, as you can see, it's got dark and Alphonse is at the wheel and we're going to go on a night safari. Little impala. I see some eyes in the distance. Leopard. There's a leopard right there. He's about 20 metres away. Fantastic, huh? And he's off. Eyes. Oh yes. Hyena. He's actually smelling something, I think. You know, we're trying not to spook him. He's definitely tracking something. Bigger than a pig, smaller <laughs> than an elephant. Still a big beast, huh? Yeah, so we don't need to be much closer because hippos sometimes are dangerous. Beautiful, beautiful day in East Africa. And we're off to see some animals. Hopefully we'll see some lions and giraffes. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I'd love to see a rhino today. Left, there he oh, is. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all right to find a water of standing oh. still. Yeah. The moment they see a strange thing, you see them running, they putting their tail up. Oh, here oh, we he's go. He's going to come. <laughs> he's going to come over. What would kill it during the day? Predators are opportunistic. If he gets an opportunity, he will just grab it. But uh, basically, they do hunt in the night. What's the eagle called? African fish eagle. So the one up in the tree is a juvenile, but the one on the on shore, the mother, I think. There you go. Hold it there. Hold it there, it's sec. What kind of monkey is that? These ones are called velvet monkeys. Well, yeah, they also travel in a troop. In a troop? Yeah. It's a leopard. That is an unbelievable spot, Alphonse. Is that a female as well? Can you not this see? This looks like a male but uh, the face is bigger. And uh, some males, big males, sometimes they are relaxed. They're not too skittish. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's, I can see all the spots now. This is a remarkable place, really. It's just a very calm, tranquil, beautiful environment where the animals are thriving. Some wonderful rhinos, they're reintroducing the rhinos back into this environment. So you guys are gonna to have to come and see that for yourself. And I'm just really privileged and humble really to be able to see these magnificent animals in their own environment. <laughs>